WON YouTube Networks is now on Facebook. Check it out. Starting lineup for Fort Quinnipiac. You see him. It's Kendall, the center. Snyder, the Port Powell forward. Vasquez, the shooting forward. Almonds, the short, or the shooting guard. And Malone is the point guard. The pair of lineup for uh, Terriers in just a moment, but the Quinnipiac Bobcats win the tip off. And Malone's got it. Long pass to the center, and the shot is a good one. The power forward Snyder with the ball. We got winners, the point guard for the Terriers. We got Palm, the shooting guard. You got Maxwell, the shooting forward. The power forward is Baco. And Samuel is the center. It's winners for way outside. Knocks down the three. What a way to start for Brooklyn. And it's three to two Terriers. Glad you could join us for the Terriers and Bobcats here on the plus 5.2. W-O-N as the point guard goes up and in for the Bobcats. Just that one badly. Here comes Bucknell and the Terriers. They kick it out to Samuel. Samuel back to Maxwell. Maxwell is in the game. He's the shooting guard to Samuel. Back to Winners. Winners moving in, moving out. Little pass to Maxwell. Pass it on to another big man, Palm, inside. Looking to go inside. Does go inside to Buckles, who puts up the one hooker and knocks it down. Three point lead for the Terriers against the Bobcats. Here's Malloy. He's the point guard. Looking to pass it to somebody in his own uniform colors. Pass it on. Inside for the big man, the one hooker misses. Samuel with the rebound for St. Francis. Long pass to Bucknell with the one hand slam. 7 to 2, St. Francis away, 15 to go in the first half. Malloy, held by one of the big men of the Terry. Up to Schneider, I believe. Schneider dribbling a couple of times, now moves back. I'll tell you who's who in just a moment for the Bobcats. We already got the Terriers down, covered. We're just trying to figure out the Bobcats. And the Bobcats better figure out how to shoot the ball. Down to five seconds on the shot clock. They have not scored in the last two minutes and there's a foul committed. And it's a shooting foul so that Bobcat player will go behind the line and I believe that Bobcat player is Vasquez and it is. Dave Vasquez so far in the season averages 9.9 .9 points a game. And the first free throw is no good. Terriers lost to Quinnipiac over in Connecticut last week. This is, you can see almost a home and home as the Bobcats go out of bounds. They miss both free throws. And not only that, they lose possession. And now the Terriers have the ball already up 7-2. Winners. Inside the buck now. Now to Samuel who moves in with a defender. That shot is off the line. No good. And rebound taken by, I believe... Either Omens, we'll find out. And the big man for the Bobcats slams it down. Kendall, the center, he fell down, lost his balance, but gets the two points. Now we know everybody. Here's Pop for three. And he knocks it down. You know about him with his three-point shooting. He's good from the outside. Terriers, a 10-2 run in the last three minutes. Malloy, Vasquez. 
Vasquez moving in, running up to two, it's off the line, rebound, that's Olman, and he gets it in. Make it Snyder with the, with the basket. Up to Samuel, fake that one, here's Powell from downtown, and it rattles in! Bobcats may want to stop and talk it over. Then they won't, Malloy's got it. Up to Omens, the shooting guard. Back to Snyder. Snyder to Malloy, inside for Vasquez. That shot off the rim, no good. Samuel with the rebound. Up to Bucknell. Bucknell pass on the winners! What a one-hand slam! Everything working for the Terriers and Quinnipiac may want to take a timeout. Down by nine with nine, with five, almost six minutes to go in the first half. 15 to six, Vasquez into Kendall. The Kendall shot is missed. Rebound Samuel, long pass to Winters. Will he go from outside again? He will, but it's off the line. Snyder with the rebound to Omen. Four rebounds for the Terriers, three for the Bobcats. Omen looking, held by two defenders. Omen's moving in, he is fouled, and he'll go behind the line to shoot two. Buckle with the second foul he's committed here today. And Omen, Steve Omens will go behind the line. In the season, he averages 5.9, actually 8.5 points a game. This is the two, and he gets the first one, it's good. 15 to seven is the score. Second one on his way. Too strong, rebound by the Terrier. Brown with the long pass. Another long pass to Winners for three. Too strong. Rebound taken by Samuel. Lost the handle. And the Bobcats have it. That's Dave Vasquez with the ball. Nine point deficit for the Bobcats. Vasquez held by Winners, I believe, of Tom. Still dribbling the ball. Looking at the receiver. Pass on to Malone. Outside three point line. Now flips it to Omen, attempted to. Samuels with the long pass, who's open is Buckhouse with the layup. <laughs> 10 point lead for St. Francis of Brooklyn. Malloy moving inside the paint, is foul, puts up the shot, is no good. Third foul committed by the Terriers, and another free throw attempt coming for Malloy and the Quinnipiac Bobcat. 19.6 a game, Derek Malloy averages in the season. First one on his way, it's a good one. 17 to eight is the score. Second one on his way, it's a dandy. 17 to nine is the score in favor of St. Francis. And winners. Pass it on to Maxwell with the two-hand slam! In the face of Steve Omens. 10-point lead again for the Terriers with 4.40 to go in the first half. And Quinnipiac will take a timeout to talk it over. Momentum on the side of the Terriers. They lead by 10, 19 to 9 at the score here on the puck. Hello. This is Universal City Studios where we're filming Dragnet. I'd like to take just a minute to talk to those of you who will soon be 65 about signing up for your Medicare benefits under Social Security. Now, it's very important that you go into your Social Security office two or three months before your 65th birthday, regardless of whether you plan to retire or whether you want to continue working for a while. If you wait until you're already 65 to apply for Medicare, you will have lost some of the protection provided by this health insurance. The time to sign up is before you're 65, not after. Now, if you have a question about Medicare or about any of the other Social Security benefits, write, phone, or visit the Social Security office in your community. The people there will be glad to help you. You haven't seen nothing yet. 
Supergirl has the ability to save millions upon millions of lives with her great superpowers. Americans have the ability to save thousands of lives, one at a time. 16,000 people die each year in car crashes that don't have to. Safety belts could save their lives. Safety belts could also prevent thousands from being horribly disfigured or crippled for life. So buckle up. Your life is in your hands. Back here in Terry is scored in Brooklyn Heights, New York. Yours truly, John Torrios, Terry in basketball. On the plus 5.2, powered by ESPN, the plus and EA Sports NCAA 10. 2015 season winding down for both of these clubs. And the conference tournament just a couple of weeks away. Terry is in good shape. Especially with some big wins that have happened as of late. They had a long winning streak, so that helped them in a long run. As Snyder's shot is missed, Malone at the rebound, and his put back rattles in. 19 to 11 is a score in favor of the Terriers. Buckles kicks it out. That's a long shot. Knocks it down. Two pointer for Matra. His line, his foot was on the line. Scores a 10 point lead again. Malloy held by Winners. Winners. Still holding the point guard. Omen. The Snyder. The two pointer is next. On with the rebound. And Samuel, look at that pass. That ball almost was deflected and almost intercepted. There's a long three on its way. Too strong. Rebound, Samuel. Kicks it out to Winner. Winner puts up another three. He rattles home. Largest lead of the game. 24-11 is the score. 13-point lead. Omen, outside the three-point line, held by a big man, comes in, kicks it out to Malloy. Malloy inside to Ken with a shot. It rolls out, rebound Bucko. Terry is with the number. Again, this time, it's passed to the wrong guy with the wrong uniform. Coming up in halftime, here on the plus, Supergirl 4. The official trailer is now playing on our sister channel, the plus. Actually, the view, 5.4. Another foul committed by the Terriers, and the Bobcats will go behind the line to shoot two. So it's two to go for the official trailer is coming up on the plus in halftime, and you can watch the official film over on our sister channel, The U. As you folks know, we are in the works for Super Bowl 5, which we hope to get out on The U in the spring. 3.03 to go in the first half. The first shot went in. Second one is a dandy. Seven point lead for St. Francis. Maxwell, Buckles, as winners, as Palm, and there's Palm for three. Too strong, rebound by Quinnipiac, that's Kendall. Omens, got to go inside the paint, backs off, he's behind the line. Winners holding, Omens. That was pass it to Vasquez. Where's that uh, Snyder? That's Snyder, actually. Well, that's actually Vasquez. Now, here's Snyder. The Omen. Bounce pass to Malloy. Malloy, the one hooker off the glass and in. Nine point lead for Terry. With 2.23 to go in counting in the first half. Long pass to Bucknell. Kicks out to Maxwell. Long three on its way. Too strong. Bucks out the rebound. Back to Samuel. Bounce pass to Winners for three, and he knocks it down. 27 15 is a score, 12 point lead with 2.05 to go. Here's Malloy, who's fouled. No, rebound. He missed the shot. He wanted a foul, will not get it. Samuel lost the handle. Tom's got it back to Buckle. It's out to Maxwell. Back to Winner. Winner for a long three. That one goes in. 15 point lead for St. Francis. One for to go in the first half. 30 to 15, St. Francis, the three ball has worked. Kendall, fade away, too strong again. Here's Samuel. Samuel, the pass, the palm, a long range three. Too strong and way too off. Vasquez with the ball for Queen of Pat. Snyder, defending. 
Vasquez defending in on Omen and Omen's fouled. Samuel will get the foul call on him. One away to go in the first half. This for two points from behind the line. First one is gets the roll and gets the bounce and gets the bucket. 13-16 is the score. With it back with five timeouts remaining. St. Francis is all six. And he got them both. 30 to 17 is the score in favor of St. Francis. Long pass to Maxwell. Buckles got a handle on it. He's proud from downtown again. That's way off the line. Under a minute to go. Malloy's got it. Malloy. Held by, I believe, Maxwell. One hooker to Snyder. And that one's off. Kendall is deflected. The season's off of. Is that a foul out of bounds? Whistle came, and it's a shooting foul. So Brandon Kendall, the center, will go behind the line to shoot two. Got to keep the pack close, and that one's not even close to orbit. There's one more to go on the free throw shot. And go for one in this one. And he's 0 for two. Maxwell to Buckles, back to Palm, down Turner, bingo! Nine points today for Palm, it's 33-17, with 27 seconds to go in the first half. Timeout, Bobcats. And with just a few seconds to go, St. Francis is in control. People going home on my train use the time to unwind. At first they're kind of shell-shocked, then they realize they're heading home. They turn back into a father, or a mother, or a little league coach. Tickets! Tickets, please! By the time they get home, they're a regular person. At least until they get to work the next morning. Metro North and the Long Island Railroad, going your way. <laughs> The Sox meet the Dodgers live from Glendale, Arizona, Sunday, March 15th at 1 on UPN 5. Back in Peter Arquette's court here in Brooklyn Heights, New York. And that boy was deflected, an opportunity for a slammer. It goes out the window. Palm's got it. Puts up the tray to add insult to injury, and it's no good. How about that rejection? And there's a one hooker off the glass, no good. A little bit fancy work. And some rough stuff going on by both sides. And a foul is called, and Vasquez will go behind the line to shoot two with 11.1 to go. First one on the way is a dandy. 33 18 is the score. The Super Bowl 4 trailer. It's coming up at halftime here on the plus. You can see the entire film over on the sister channel, the U. He missed that one. Samuel about five seconds to go. He's now the winners for three. That's too strong. Quinnipiac has one final chance here to put up the prayer. Off the front rim, no good, and that'll do it for the first half. It has been all Terrier from inside the lane, inside the paint, and outside the three-point line. One half complete. It's halftime in downtown Brooklyn. Terriers 33, Bobcats 18 on the plus. Some banks give you hundreds of locations where you can get cash. Citibank gives you hundreds of locations where you can get banking. Not just cash, real banking. Make deposits and loan payments. Transfer money between accounts. Even pay Citibank Visa and MasterCard bills. 55 different transactions at hundreds of locations, 24 hours a day. Where you live, where you work, or both. Citibank. When, where, and how to succeed.
is this? Who are you? And how did you get in here? I've been waiting for you. We have a little chat to have, so why don't you come with me to the couch, or I'll splatter your brains all over this wall. If Supergirl doesn't come by 4 p.m. today, I will detonate a bomb I have installed at the Metropolis Grand Central Terminal. Is Miss Kent going to relay the message to Supergirl? I think she will. She had a very concerned look on her face when I left the place. That's just what I wanted to hear. I knew that bomb threat would work. You've had your little fun. Now come out and show yourself. Triumph today! I'm going to get even with you and it will be sooner rather than later. You think you've seen the badass side of me? You haven't seen nothing yet. For second half action, 33-18 is the score. And time for the set the tempo recap. Control the crowd. Keep the shooting under 40%. That's exactly what both teams have done on both sides as we get set for second half action of this contest. Your truly John Camille, that's Judge for Terriers basketball, followed by EA Sports and ESPN Plus here on the plus 5.2 WON. Maxwell leads up the second half for the three. That's off the line, no good. 33 to 18 is the score in favor of St. Francis of Brooklyn. Malloy Omen, Vasquez, Snyder, and Kendall are on the court four. Three the pack and a good lead off Alley Hoop Slam. And it's 33 20. And that's intercepted. So already out the gate, a couple of turnovers. And Quinnipack is right back in this one. Malloy, that looks like Vasquez, Kendall, back to Vasquez. And actually Snyder and he goes up and in and lays it in, it's an 11 point game. Long pass is Pond. Samuel, Maxwell three, rattles in! 36-22 is the score, we're under nine minutes to go in the, in the game. And there's a layup, too strong. Samuel with the rebound. Up ahead is Winters. One on one. Lays it up and in. 38-22 is the score in favor of the Terriers. A quick start for the Bobcats, but it's been all Terriers since then. A three and now a two. Omen going in. He gets it to go in. Inside is Samuel with the slam. That's a slam! 40 to 24 is the score, an authority slam. Laid out by Samuel. And back when fourth we go, 14 point game. Snyder, trades buckets. 40 to 26 is the score. Takes it out, that's Maxwell. Back to winner, back to Samuel. And they go inside. He does, that's Buckles, Buckles inside the lane, lays it up, and it rolls in. 42-26 is the score in favor of St. Francis with 7.40 to go and counting in the ball game. Snyder to Malloy, Malloy held by two defenders. Malloy turning, and he's rejected. Buckles with the long pass, that's Samuel. Held by two defenders, and he lays it up and in anyway. 44-26 to the score. Seven, 16 and counting to go in the game. 44-26, St. Francis in control. Kendall gets the bucket. Samuel with three defenders, puts it up. It rolls out, too strong. Kendall with the rebound. Omen. To Vasquez, Vasquez is dribbling, held by Maxwell. Up to Omen. Omen, moving in, moving out. The pass inside to Malloy, and he gets it in. 
44-30 is the score in favor of St. Francis still. Inside, Samuel is fouled, but he'll go behind the line to the shoot two. And Kendall is called for the foul. Ty Samuel. First one on its way is a dandy. 45 30 is the score. That's one out of two so far. Gonna get a clean sweep of this one. And he does. Two for two. And it's 46 30 in favor of St. Francis. Malloy, looking, still looking. That's on the vast play. Held by Maxwell. In on Snyder, back to Malloy. Malloy back to Snyder. Snyder has 13 to shoot, held by a defender. Back to Ullman, bounce pass, and it's ejected! Terriers trying to save it, they go! And a wide open slam for Vasquez. Long pass is Buckhills, and it's a long three. And that's too strong. Rebound, Buckhills, off the glass and in. Down to 4.49 and counting to go in the game. 48, 40, 32 to score. Malloy out of nowhere slams it down. That's a smash. Winners long pass the power from outside. Too strong. Kendall with the rebound. And Vasquez with the ball. Vasquez to Omen. Omen to Kendall. Kendall with the hooker. No good. Rebound. Long touchdown pass to Powell from outside for three. Knocks it down. 51 34 is the score. And the Terriers are beginning to run away with this. Malloy. Held by Maxwell. An open guy right there, that's Vasquez up to Kendall. Kendall fade away, too strong. Rebound Samuel. Tom's got it. Winner, three, bingo! 20 point lead for the St. Francis Terriers. Malloy comes up with the layup, that's too strong. Rebound Kendall with the shot, that goes in. Winner's long pass. That's Samuel, the center for three, and it rattles in! The center of all people puts himself in the three-point line and knocks it down. That's the kind of game it's been for the Terriers here today. Vasquez to Omen. Kendall, that's a jumper. That's too strong. Long pass to Winner. He'll put up a three and knock it down! Bombs away in downtown Brooklyn. Terriers on a 12-2 run with no end in sight. And that one's thrown out of bounds. And the fans know it's over. Time to warn the bus. Brought to you by State Farm Insurance. The official sponsor of NCAA basketball and the Northeast Conference. It's been all Terriers. The offense, the defense, the three-point shooting. You name it, it's happened. Fans know this game's over. Samuel hesitated for a moment. Buckles will try a three. Hell that get down! And the game has absolutely slipped away from Quinnipiac to call a timeout. But it doesn't matter. The fans are cheering on the bus and they know the score and so do you. Heading into this commercial break, Terrier 63, Winnipeg 36. Don't you hate it when you go to answer the phone and you've just missed the call? All you get is that eat. Well, with return call, if you don't make it to the phone on time, it's okay. Hello. It remembers the last number that called you and automatically calls it back. But now let's say the phone rings and you don't want to be interrupted. But what if it's an important call? With caller ID, you can silently screen your calls. Bob, are you okay? Honey, it's time. I'll never get home in time. Uh, start breathing. I'll call Kate. 
Call waiting lets important calls get through. It's the most popular Bell Atlantic IQ service. Call now for call waiting. Mike. Uh, Barbara just went into labor. OK, I'll pick her up and meet you at the hospital. Let me get back to you, Mary. Be there for the people who count on you. Call now for call waiting, caller ID, and return call. There's no service connection charge. Kate, yeah, we did just try to call. Call 1-800-272-1006 now for IQ services, and the service connection is free. Call the Fist calls all my pitches. Even this one for these washable, durable White Sox placemats from your hometown Pizza Hut restaurants. Oh, yeah. Just order any Pizza Hut pizza and get a set of two White Sox placemats for just 89 cents. There are four White Sox placemats in all, and they're available only at your hometown Pizza Hut restaurants. Hey, what's that? Fork ball. Fork ball? I don't even have a fork ball. <laughs> Where'd you learn to catch? Back here in downtown Brooklyn is all Terry. Winnipeg has had chances and have blown them in a three-point play for the Terriers has worked throughout the night tonight. Intercepted, Palms got it. Up to Buckles, Buckles kicks it out. That's winning, winning from long range, too strong, and is rebounded by Omen and the Bobcats. Fans cheering, warmed up us. Long three, not even close. Palm. Three. What else is new? 63, 36, 30 point lead. Vasquez. In the Snyder, turning around, one hook has got it. 240 to go. Look at Maxwell, faking, now putting up the three. That's too strong, that's a dud. Fans are cheering on the bus, it is over. It is a 29 point lead, actually a 28 point lead for the Terriers. And fans are cheering on the bus. That's how you know it's a blowout. In the pack will take their time here. Vasquez just being a show off, and that one rattles off. Being a show off didn't work. Winner stops and starts, puts up a three, and that's an air ball. Ooh, that is ugly. But the three has worked throughout the night for Tom. Now there's some substitutions coming. Malloy will try a three, not even close, rebound. The center slams it down. Kendall with the two. Maxwell, takes it out of winners, winners the lead, score! With the three, it's too strong. With a minute and 30 to go, 66-40 is the score. And that's a foul off the glass, it almost went in. Snyder will go behind the line to shoot two. More mass substitutions coming in for uh, Quinnipiac. Jamie Snyder. We'll shoot the first one into today. Second one is good. We shoot for two. More mass substitutions coming in. Oh, the Terrier. Samuel, a two. That's a good one. We got Pig Griffin, Vasquez Hill, and Kendall in the game for the Quinnipiac Bobcat. Long shot. Not even close. They kick it out to Maxwell. Maxwell puts up a long three. Too strong. Under a minute to go. Another three. Bobcats can't buy a bucket anymore. Maxwell, got hit, got the shot off, he missed that one badly. Under 45 seconds to go. 
Long pass to the Baldy guy with number four on it, and it's still going to be Terry's ball as the Bobcat player went out of bounds. Okay. Inside Samuel. Looking it out, and that one is going to be no. He tried it, and they're going to hold on to it. Tom for three. That's a good one. Going to seal the deal. 471 42 to score with about 20 seconds to go. Fade away. Not even close. And to add insult to injury, Paul will put up a three and knock it down. And that is all she wrote. Now put up a three. Too strong. Long pass, one second when it's across the Hail Mary. It's no good, but it won't matter. The Terriers win 74 to 42 and get their revenge against the Bobcats. Your player of the game, Ty Samuel, 12 rebounds, six assists, while Brandon Kendall for Quinnipiac has six points and nine rebounds. We'll wrap this game up in a moment. A blowout from Terriers scored in Brooklyn Heights, New York. The final, the Terriers. All over the Quinnipiac Bobcat by a final of 74 42. We'll be back in a moment to wrap it up. Welcome to the world of stupid. Forget about schooling children. It's time to school stupid humans. Class is in session with Boneheads 101. Check it out on 5. WN YouTube Networks is now on Facebook. Check it out.